Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I will show you the second part of spring mass damping system design in Simulink. In this second part, I will add a noise uh, signal to the previous design which we did uh, in the last video. So I will add a random noise uh, which is constantly needs to be evaluated in our equation in this particular video and show you how you can design that and the effect of those noise into our final output. To see how I designed my spring mass damping system previously please watch my other video in my playlist or the link also I have given in the above and but I will recap it very shortly in this video that this was the final design where we ended our uh, previous uh, video where I have uh, the force is this one uh, constant block and this complete setup uh, defines that a mass uh, is being uh, this is the for mass and then this is for the uh, damping and this is for the spring coefficient so if you see in this uh, uh, model I have defined all the other uh, values like spring constant and uh, damping coefficient but the mass value I did not uh, I have not given so let me give that so in I, as was I remember I gave mass equal to 10 and uh, also I think I gave force somewhere around uh, uh, 10 yeah and now let me simulate and see the uh, output over here yeah so this was our output if you remember at the end which we got in our previous video where our uh, the system first oscillates and then it settles down somewhere around 0 0.5 based on the uh, coefficients which we have chosen the spring uh, <coughs> constant and the damping coefficient now let's add uh, some noise to this particular uh, equation because right now we have considered this as an ideal equation so let me take you to the for some theory over here so I, I used a word document in my previous uh, video as well let me open that back again yeah so if you see this is the uh, spring mass uh, damping uh, image which is in an ideal environment without any particular environment noise or any further uh, disturbance so and this is the equation which we designed in our uh, simulation I will repeat please watch my previous video to understand how I came to this uh, model which I have which I am sh showing you over here now let's do one thing let's further add some noise to this so if I uh, redo this equation that is force on left hand side and bring uh, all this uh, <coughs> spring uh, uh, equation and uh, uh, damping equation on the other side so, and plus I will add some kind of noise dn which is like randomly distributed noise on my equation so my force the force which we apply on this mass block has to take care of that uh, added noise as well so this becomes my new equation uh, to be designed. Of course, you can choose uh, various types of noise here uh, uh, based on your environment condition and uh, if you have some kind of real uh, random noise, just add it over here. And if you have values, just add the values over here in the matrix format or vector format. But right now, I will just take it as a coefficient right now, which is d n, and I assume that this is in the Newton uh, unit. So, to design this into the simulink, I will have to f again rearrange the uh, attributes in this equation and so something my e e equation will become like this that mass into uh, acceleration e equal, is equal to force minus this uh, damping uh, force minus spring force and this I will have to further subtract the noise from the force uh, value so let's uh, start designing this equation in our simulink so in simlink uh, now we will need 3d minus sign so i just increase it by one more perfect and probably what i will do is i just add it redistribute this here because and in the second part i will probably add uh, noise signal here 
So to add a noise signal, of course, as I told you, you can have various formats. You can have values directly fed in into here if you have it in vector format or probably in a mat file format. If you have a particular signal type, like say for example, sine wave or something, you can add it here. If you want to add a constant value as a noise, you can add it here. But in this value, I just add a random uh, noise. So you can just have a, uh, just type random and you should get this random source. You can just add this. Uh, uh, random number uh, over here and if I double click and open so the mean will be zero that means the oscillation of this random number will be always uh, it will maintain the mean at a zero but variance will be one so it will vary between uh, uh, with an amplitude of one over here of course uh, uh, to mo know more details please go to the help document and how does this random number works or better like to visualize this in the scope that what is the noise being added let me add one more scope here as well to just visualize the effect of uh, the values of noise okay so this is it so if i now simulate this uh, model and if i open this scope which is my final output you can see it was it has changed quite uh, quite some in my uh, output and it's no more settling in 0 0.5 because previously it was set settling down at 0 0.5 it's no more settling down in 0 0.5 so first let's see what is happening in the noise so this is my noise so if you see it's oscillating the values of my noise is oscillating uh, at zero level and it is it is having a variance of one uh, and uh, yeah and this is the my noise value so uh, to get the previous uh, value back first let me make the value zero and uh, so that uh, the noise becomes zero there is no more noise i'm adding because i just want to compare and show you in this scope directly that how this noise is really affecting our output scope uh, over here now if i rerun this perfect see so noise is zero so there is no effect of noise so my equation is setting down as 0, 0 0.5 as shown in my previous video also and my noise is uh, 0 over here now if i give back the noise again probably i'll start with a small noise 0 0.1 and we'll see that see there is some kind of uh, disturbance which started of course it is not so big as it was previously when we gave it as uh, 1 because then it, the noise signal becomes really strong and the disturbance will be much more to nullify the effect of noise probably what other things which you can do is we can make the force higher which is 100 and so if the force is strong enough the applied force then it may take care of the noise in a better uh, situation better in a better way so, yeah you see i kept the noise as it is and so my noise signal is, is still varying between uh, uh, with a variance of one but you see it is still settling down at a 5 of course it's not no more 0 0.5 it's setting down 5 because we have a higher constant value a uh, higher uh, force value now probably i can name, name it here force so that you know what is it yeah this force yeah but if you uh, notice nicely it is still not setting down and there is always a bit of uh, oscillation here and that's because there's always a constant noise which the force is trying to nullify and trying to settle down here if we quickly again make the noise say for example very small, I will not make it 0, I will make it very very small, 0 0.001 and if you run it again, we see it's almost settled down because the force is so strong that it is easily able to take off this small noise. Although in this graph you may not be able to see that noise is changing but this values, note down the values on the y axis of this noise scope, it is becoming really really small. So this a small value is easily being taken care of by our uh, force the large force which you have applied of 100 newtons and it's able to take care of it and of course if you make it zero then it, it will become uh, very plain and forward yeah okay so what i will do is i'll make it back to one before i close this video yes and probably i'll hard code the mass to 10 over here yeah bingo <coughs> so uh, that's all so you can see in this video what i showed you is how you can add a noise to an equation and how you can design that into simulating and what will be the effect in the output of our simple spring mass 
damping coefficient which is one of the perfect example of second order uh, differential equation to be designed into our uh, simulation okay thank you for watching this video if you have any further questions please put in my comment section and uh, if you li like this video please subscribe to my channel and before i end i will repeat before watching this video please do watch my previous video where i have shown how to design a spring mass damping coefficient uh, equation okay thank you again and have a nice day bye